Hey guys, it's Mad Mags here from Hospital Burgery, and I'm going to leave you a little disclaimer right now before we even get into this video, because this video is about beginner, intermediate, and advanced keeping. Now this is just my thoughts and my opinions from what I have already taken care of, what I have taken care of, and what I am taking care of, as well as maybe some videos I've seen of others. And don't get me wrong, I've watched a few other videos about intermediate, advanced, and beginning keeping. And everybody has their own opinions and own thoughts. And I will not knock anybody's video due to the fact that everybody has different opinions on each species. Everybody has different thoughts on each species. And everybody likes certain species for their first. And what I'm going to do is, like I said, that's my disclaimer. And then right before we start, like I said, this is just my thoughts and opinions upon this subject. So what we'll do is we'll... I'm going to start with the beginner species that I was comfortable with, and like I said, this is not me telling you to go out and buy one of these species because I'm telling you. I'm, I'm just giving you options on what to think about for a beginner and intermediate and an advanced species on when you pick them up or get one. Um, I'd like to talk about characteristics of each species and genus uh, because they have different characteristics for each genus and each species but also each personal tarantula themselves, each one has their own personalities. As you see over here, we'll start with this one down here, my uh, Grandma Stola pole gripes, which was my number two or number three pick of when I picked out species. And I feel that this is a fairly good species too, as a beginner, uh, a very interesting species when I picked uh, him or her up, I'm assuming she's a female, it was very alien-like, like to make little taco pockets, little tarantula pita pockets, and I really loved that because it was an easy and interesting species. Kept on dry substrate, uh, Fizz Geek here does not like the moss, doesn't like the moss, doesn't like the chips, so she's been moving that all around. Um, and like I said, it's a fairly good species. Um, I did not pick this one up for my first, but I'm not saying that it wouldn't be a good one for somebody else. Uh, but we will go to my first personal species I had picked up because, you know, I wasn't sure. I was told to pick up the Brachiamohamori, the Grandma Stola Polkripes, the Grandma Stola Polkripe, or I just said that two different ways. Polkra, I mean, uh, as well as, you know, an albopolosum or uh, an epicurinum. But I went, personally went with a Brachiopelma, uh, who is not out, a Brachiopelma homori, or uh, albopolosum hobby form, which unfortunately it's not out. You can see your abdomen. You can see your little abdomen down here. Mm -hmm. But, oh, as you see turning. here, she comes. She's turning. Here you go. Here's Miss. This is Miss Sheba. Now this is the Brachiopelma uh, albopolosum hobby form. So unfortunately, she's not going to be as curly as uh, some of the other ones you'll see. Now I like this one because she was really easy to start with, and when I picked her up, I didn't have any clue what I was doing. And, I'm, and if it weren't for this one, I probably would not be continually doing this because she was so smooth with all the treat rehousings and every time I had to redo her thing. Uh, this was my, this honestly, this is my personal pick for a beginner. The uh, curly hair Honduran Nicaraguan hobby form as this one here, as you see, hopefully she'll take here or come out and take. Cause she is gorgeous, even though she's not the true curly hair. Um, and I'm not just going to push terrestrials either of the new world. I also, as you see right next to it, will be an avicularia avicularia, which I don't say that you should jump on an avicularia avicularia for first tarantula, but also if you want and you found one that's really good, go for it. As you see here, this is Miss Shiva with her little meal, who is a sweetheart who loves to take her super worms very gently. Very dry substrate. She does not like a bunch of water, which could just be because of the hobby form. So moving on from that, so you have the pole capis, fizz gig, Miss Shiva, the Honduran curly hair, or I should say the hobby form curly hair, 
I don't believe it's Honduran. Now, this one here is a standard staple of beginner tarantulas. This here is the Brachiopelum humori. Beautiful species, gorgeous, great, pretty calm. Um, have not had her do any uh, threat postures or even any uh, oh, uh, or any abdomen threat postures because most New Worlds kick instead of uh, go for a bite, which I. Hoping this worm moves a bit more, but this here is the staple of pretty much a beginner species that a lot of people have. If it's not the Hamori, which was an awesome little takedown, it's not the Hamori, it's usually the Gramostola poker peas or Gramostola rosea. I'm sorry, not poker peas, rosea or poteri. And like I said, these are just options. So if you like what you see, check them out, read about them. Figure out which one fits you the best, and then go for it. Because these are not me. This is not me telling you to go buy a Hamori. This is me giving you the option Hamori, Pulcher Peas, uh, the Hobby Form uh, uh, Alapalosum. You know, I don't want to tell you what to get. I just would like to give you the options of what you can see. Now, you're like, well, what if I don't like terrestrials that much or phosphorus? You also have everybody's favorite New World Arboreal, a Avicular, Avicular, unfortunately. Avic here is, you know, constantly hiding and getting ready for her pop. So if you like that, then here is a good Arboreal. Um, I personally probably wouldn't get an Arboreal, Avicular, Avicularia as my first, but for sure as my first Arboreal species, I would definitely jump on that and then go for a Caribbean University fella. Because they're fairly similar when you take care of them. They don't like a lot of heat, they don't like a lot of water. So you spritz them down once a week or once every other week, and they're fine as long as you keep a little water dish with them. Which is always nice because these are beautiful, beautiful little arboreals. And then we'll go past that because unfortunately she's not taking anything and she's not doing a whole lot. So we shall shift. And I'm leaving, I'm leaving my slings out, as you see here. This is the Rosea. This is my Tripepi. But I'm leaving the slings out because they're a little bit more work than a larger specimen. Because you got to keep them at a good temperature. you got to keep so much moisture in them. And you got to feed them, you know, little fruit flies. Because they're too small for the large things. Now, I'm going to shift into intermediate. But before I go into intermediate, I'm going to slide into an in-between. A beginner and intermediate, where this was where your uh, terrestrial arboreals come into play, like your Salmopoas. So it's my opinion, this is not going to be a beginner species. In my opinion, in my thoughts, I personally would not be running around trying to find a Salmopoas for my very first. But if you're comfortable with them, go for it. You know, but that's only if you're comfortable. Don't just go for it because I said, hey, if you're comfortable, go for it. But if you're comfortable, no big deal. Here is a Salmopoas Cambridgei. This is Chevy, freshly molted. Beautiful little specimen. I love this one. Um, like I said, every tarantula has a different personality. This one's personality loves to hang out, as you see. This is gorgeous. Let's see if I come around the side and get a feather view or turn her. Now we'll turn her. And you see if you can get those colors in there. Ooh. You can come to the top here and I'll move this out of the way so you can get some Top view of that. Look at those oranges on the uh, pedipulps and on the feet. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Um, like I said, to me, this is in between a beginner and intermediate. Uh, it's fast. It's fast. And it's fast. <laughs> is what it is. And a lot of people, for your first tarantula, you don't want a speedy tarantula. Because if it gets out, you're going to freak out. Um, same with some of the smaller ones, which we're here. I'm going to show you next. Um, more dwarf, another set of dwarf species. Put you back because you're gorgeous and very close to coming back for a, a feeding in the near future. Now we're going to go with some dwarf species, and I say this right now wholeheartedly: if you don't have a dwarf species, get one because they are awesome. 
and they come in multiple different types. Right here, these top three here you're seeing, these are my Neoholotheliensis. As you see here, this little one here, and they're gorgeous. Now, I throw these in between beginner and intermediate personally for myself because they're small, they're really fast, and if it gets out, it's kind of a scary thing because you don't want to crush it. And that's, that's a big thing because they're so speedy, and some of them are super skittish. But, you know, Neoholotheli NC. And then you got this one here who's really fat. Looks like she's about to pop. You know, and they're gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. They got the golds. These ones here, I believe, are more emeralds. But they got a gold. They got the emeralds. Then you got this last one down here. Finally coming out to say hi. How you doing? Like I said, I don't suggest you get a Neoholotheli NC for your first tee. Only because of the factor of how small they are, a dwarf species, how fast they are, and, and you know, you, you go to feed them if it jolts out. Good luck trying to find it again because they're small, you know, and especially at this size. But I'm not discouraging, discouraging you to give that, okay? This is just letting you know these are, this is what I have been through with mine. And all three of these have done the same thing. They've bolted around the container so quick I can barely see them. So that's why I throw it in between a beginner and intermediate, as well as this one here. This is the Chilean Copper or Chilean Violet, which hopefully the, the light will just let you see the beautiful colors of her because she is gorgeous. Uh, this is more of a new pickup, so I, don't, I haven't got a lot of time spent with this one, but so far she's calm, she's collective, and she's gorgeous. Uh, but... I have got a threat posture out of her once or twice, and I didn't even really have to do anything to get the threat posture. So hence why I throw it into in between beginner and intermediate, because the higher you go up, the more threat postures, the more skittish they're going to get on you. And like I said, each tarantula is different. This one might be a bit skittish and maybe want to threat, but maybe you pick one up and all it does is play pet rock. So you got to keep that in mind. You know, those are those are things you keep in mind because each tarantula themselves are different with a different personality. I got a few of them here. The next one I'm about to show you is a kind of a monster, and I know of a couple other people that have them, and theirs isn't as bad as mine. It's just that's just how it is. They're all different. They have their own personalities, and that's just that's just the way things go. You know. Try to rearrange this a bit more. I'll give you one last view of my grandma stole the poker piece, fizz gig. Like I said, beautiful species. They get fairly large, and uh, fizz gig has been really good. Very good. Really, really good. Very chill. Um, I'm even trying to think if I've even got a threat posture out of fizz gig. I don't think I have. I had a, uh, my brachiopoma alopalosum, I had a push to get a threat posture. That's how chill she is, uh, which is awesome. Like I said, you know, good beginner species. Uh, you know, I'm going to give you, you know, the genus right here. I like the Brachiopelma. I like the Gramostole. Those are really good genuses for me. And, and maybe you won't find one that is as good like it is for me. Maybe you'll pick up um, a Nandu or uh, a Green Bottle Blue, you know, and a Dome. That is an awesome one to get, so make sure you guys pick up Green Bottle Blue as well. Here, now I'm stepping a little more into the intermediate. These ones are more skittish, more threat postery, more defensive, possibly aggressive. What I have here is more of an aggressive tea. This is my Lassiodora Itibune, and uh, this one is more aggressive. I state that because I try to fill her water bowl, which she likes to flip, I'm noticing. Uh, she likes to flip it, and then when I water her, she likes to attack the water, and she will literally follow the stream up to the source. So it, it's it's kind of a, ooh, wow, it's a freshly molded one, nice. It's kind of an interesting thing because I've seen a couple other people who had them, and they weren't as aggressive as this one is. Ooh, see what I mean? Watch. As you see right there. Uh... That was aggression. That was not defensive. That was an instant strike. And like I said, 
Uh, I want to say Tom Moran has one of these, and his was not like that, at least when I watched the video. But this is a Lassie Dora. Um, uh, where did that worm go? This is a Lassie Dora. It's a Bune. It went on the side and crawled in the substrate, so uh, just watch your lid. Oh, I found it. Yeah. So that there is, to my opinion, this is more of an intermediate. So if that freaked you out just watching that, I don't suggest this one to be your first. Actually, you know what? Instead of giving him such a small one, maybe I'll see if he'll take a... Uh, if I can just, uh, hopefully... Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. See what I mean? That's aggression. That's a new world, too. So like I said, you just... You, Find the ones that you're comfortable with as a beginner, and just take me, take this as, you know, opinions and options since you get to watch how some of them acted. And, you know, Fizz Gig was fine. Shiva was fine. This one here, we call it Itty Bitty Busey, as you <laughs> see with that attitude. And, yeah, intermediate, in my opinion, because she just didn't want to take her time if she wanted to go nuts. And about how large do you think she actually is? Because, I mean, I know she's not even close to full-grown yet. Oh, she is nowhere near full-grown. I'd say this is still juvenile. Um, I know, bundled up, I'd say probably a couple inches. Spread out, I'd say maybe three. As Next, a juvenile. As a juvenile, yeah. Next one here, this is my... Where's my water dish? Because... Oh, where's my water? This here is the piece Sazame. This is another Brazilian species. It's a great one, but I consider this one another intermediate because she does have an attitude, hence why we named her Furiosa. See if the water will get her attention out. Yep. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the Pisazame. Do you want me to come look at the top here? And uh, we'll see if she'll take something. We'll give her a small one, and then see. we'll see if she'll go to the side. Maybe she'll come out a little bit for everybody. You know, and I throw this one in another intermediate, not just because she's aggressive or defensive. You know, this is a Brazilian species. They like water, you know, so they like their water. They don't like it soaked like a Kilobrachy species, but they like the water. Oh, she's going around the side. She's going oh. around the side. Cool. She's come, probably going to come out the center. I see a foot in there. Okay, so just get her to come on through for everybody. Oh, no, 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 don't go up. Well, sometimes they just don't want to come out. Sometimes they do. Oh, it's going in. Yeah. I think he knows what's in there. Ooh, ooh, out oh, the other side. Out the other side now. Let's see if we can get it. And then she might not take because she's a little dark. Is she punching it? No, she's just touching it. You know, standard behavior of a tarantula. Not sure if they're hungry. They won't take it. They won't take it. They won't take it. Which so far is what this seems like. She might just not be hungry. And that's fine. Because not all species eat like a monster, you know. Non-due Colorado Velosus will take this. Non-due Chromatis, non-due Tripapi would take that quick. And those, I would throw all three of those, in my opinion, in the intermediate because like my Colorado Velosus, this gig, is kind of similar to Itty Bitty, the last Eudoria Tribune. Uh, with the... She doesn't like to attack, but she will freak you out because she's pretty heavy, you know. And like I said, I'm not standing, don't go and get any of these two here. If you can find an itty, uh, an itty bitty busey, if you can find an itty bitty busey, if you can find an itty bune, go for it. But I don't suggest it to be your first. Now we're going to shift from intermediate to advanced. This will be more of speed, aggression temperature as well as moisture and humidity. Uh, I'm a huge Kilo Brachys fan and here I pulled out uh, my Kilo Brachys Vietnam Blue who was down there in her little tunnel. Mm -hmm. His or her tunnel. Mm -hmm. 
and I so far have not had any problem with this one. Does not come out very often, which is fine by me, because I do like a good pet hole. They make beautiful tunnels, but like I said, an advanced species, because the moisture, you got to keep moisture in them. They like moist substrate. They like the, the humidity. They are super, super fast, and some of them are, well, some of them are aggressive, but I'm not trying to shun you from buying one. I just, I suggest that you, you take some time and pick out a couple of, uh, uh, you know, a couple of, a couple of Rachypalmas, maybe a couple of Gramostolas, you know, pick a couple of those up. Spend some time, six months maybe, with a few of the Brachiopelmas, a few Gramostolas, and then work your way up from there. You know, work your way up to another Lassiodora. I mean, I got I got a Lassiodora pair of Hibana here, which I throw this in intermediate because, again, moist substrate, and it's super skittish. Like, it will take off running from you. You mess with the lid, and they don't, see what I mean? They just, it's not a big fan of, of a lot. They just... It's, like I said, it's, it's an intermediate, in my opinion. Now, if you have a Lassiodora or Parahibana that's not so jittery like mine are, which I'm surprised I can leave that open, which I don't know if he'll take that worm being as dark as he is. But, like, I, I throw this intermediate because it's a really skittish species. The Both the ones I have are skittish. And that just could be because they're so small. And so remember that size is another thing. The larger the T, that was a pretty good takedown. The larger the T, the calmer it could be. You know, especially if you go with a new world species that's terrestrial. Uh, a lot of the Brachiopelmas and the Gramostolas end up becoming pet rocks. They just kind of hang out all the time. Um, I'm waiting for my last Eudorius to get bigger because... Like I said, I, I, I only got the information I'm giving you now because of what I'm taking care of. And since I don't have such large specimens, um, you know, I'm more of like the juvenile size guy that, you know, hey, you know, what do you, you know, suggest for a juvenile species? You know, Brachiopelma juvenile, Gramostola juvenile, something, you know what I mean? Uh, but I don't want you to get discouraged because I'm stating that, you know, you shouldn't go grab a, a Kilo Brachys Vietnam Blue just because they're beautiful. I don't suggest it because my fifth spider was a uh, Lividus, H. Lividus or C. Lividus, which is the Cobalt Blue. And man, I'm going to tell you right now wholeheartedly, I was terrified of that species. That, that, that species terrified me. It attacked me twice. And that is aggression. That is... That is definitely an advanced keeping species. And now, that was just my um, uh, experience. experience with it. Because I've seen other ones that were full-size female kilo, uh, not kilo brackets, but full-size uh, lividums, cobalt blues. And they were just fine. I just happened to have that one tarantula that had the personality of Scarface on cocaine. You know? <laughs> Always ready to do some damage is what is what he wanted. Hence why I ended up calling him Pull Pot. You know, uh, here I'm going to show you. Unfortunately, I don't think we'll get to see this one. This is Mika, my serrat. Uh, I should say my serrat jars. Our serrat jars, Marshali. Um, unfortunately, she's right here. You might be able to see a little side abdomen there, and all the webbing just above my thumbnail. And and I consider this another advanced species. It's fast. It's not aggressive because I haven't got any aggression out of her. I haven't seen any threat posture or anything like that. But I, I put this one in uh, the advance because it's fast. It's an old world, so it has more potent venom. And it's fast. But I love them, you know. Uh, you're going to find that I'm probably going to have a lot of odd in... Some that not a lot of people care about, like OBT. Not a lot of not everybody likes OBT. 